John Engen. I'm mayor of the city of Missoula, Montana. We passed a, an affordable housing ordinance in Missoula because we felt there, well, we, we knew there was a clear difference between median home price and median income in our community. And unless we figure out a way to actively fill that gap, there are a whole bunch of folks who are going to be paying far more than 30% of their income uh, for housing. And that just doesn't work in a community that you want to thrive. In effect, it's, it's another of a number of guiding documents that we have at the city of Missoula. Um, that are intended uh, to inform every decision we make about land use. Our affordable housing ordinance was, um, oddly enough, a slam dunk in a community where we don't slam dunk too much stuff. Um, but it, it's clear community-wide that there aren't enough affordable homes available for people. Um, and, and frankly, there aren't enough affordable rentals. I mean, across the board, we need more affordability. I think uh, all members of city council on both sides of the proverbial aisle uh, recognize that need and voted unanimously, is my recollection, uh, to pass that ordinance and get it on the ground. Anytime that we as municipal government are interested in making an investment of public money in any project, um, Long-term affordability of housing is a clear issue um, and that ordinance informs that conversation. Um, we are talking today about some pretty targeted needs with regard to affordable housing. Um, we have recognized after a, more than a decade of wrestling with the notion that um, there aren't enough quality purpose-built student rentals in a university community that we ought to do something about that. So the University of Montana in the city of Missoula, have, uh, we, we've uh, agreed to, to a partnership around creating affordable student housing um, in or around downtown. Um, we will want, I mean, there are a number of community goals at play here. We want more folks living downtown to sort of normalize things, make sure that there's activity um, after five o'clock um, to build community, vitality, um, tax base, the list goes on. Uh, and the university has a clear need. Um, so we're trying to put those two things together. Uh, and with any luck, we'll get somewhere. And it's interesting, you start to talk about um, affordable purpose-built student housing and suddenly developers from all over the country are calling saying, tell us about your place. Um, and it turns out we have a pretty attractive place. There is no silver bullet, as they say. There's no one size fits all. Um, there, are, there are principles that we can glean from um, other communities where they've made good choices about how to, to really um, uh, mingle affordability with market. Um, we don't want to create quote unquote ghettos or projects. Um, we want to build communities where folks of all incomes can live together and work together and play together and enjoy one another and help one another. Um, so. We don't, we don't identify particular areas of town that are all about affordable housing. Um, we identify, we hope, projects around the community where when we have some influence, we can, um, we can help push toward affordability. Sometimes that can come in the form of a subsidy. Um, often it can come in the form of uh, how you zone. Um, are you providing adequate density so that a developer can actually make some units or all units for that matter affordable. Um, we have terrific nonprofit developers in Missoula and those folks come to the table again and again to create um, affordability, uh, perpetual affordability. Fundamentally folks want a decent place to live um, and I'm not sure if, if if a preponderance of your citizens don't have that, you can have a healthy community. So it's in our collective best interest to make sure that folks have decent, safe, um, attractive, uh, convenient, um, wonderful places to live.